When it comes down to Lightroom Classic, presets are incredibly helpful. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own, as well as how you can customize presets within Lightroom Classic. And I'm going to start right now. So to create a preset in Lightroom Classic is really easy. Firstly, you need to make a couple of adjustments so you can record it as a preset. Now, I've already done that, so you can see plus four uh, temperature, plus 23 tint, and so on. We've made a couple changes to the saturation, clarity, highlights and shadows, you know, the boring stuff. So let's go ahead and create a preset. So what you want to do is uh, drop out of here, so you don't want to be in there, but you do want to be in the develop panel. Go over to the left hand side and we want to go to presets. Now this is where all your presets are saved. As you can see, there's a bunch of free ones available and I've got a bunch of ones that I've specifically made. So to create a preset, go to this icon here and go ahead and click. Now what you can do is create a preset or you can import presets. You can also manage presets as well. So to create a preset, go ahead and click. Now, what you'll do is open up with this dialog box. This is the name of the preset. You can also save it into a group as well. Then what you want the preset to have saved. So like I was saying, you need to make a bunch of changes to a photo to then save as a preset. This is what you're saving. So you've got your basics panel, tone curve, HSL, lens correction, kind of all sorts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to name this as test just to show you basically what it can do so i'm going to go ahead and just save it to color grading okay so once you've done that we'll go ahead and click okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on this and i'm just going to reset this photo so now as you can see nothing has been changed to this photo in any way so if i go to my color grading we can see that i've got one called test and we'll go ahead and click and what it'll do is all we'll automatically apply all of those changes we've made in one single click but what happens if you want to customize it after the fact? Let's say you want to brighten a photo or darken a photo and keep it as a preset. Well, you can do that as well by changing the custom settings. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just make a quick change. Let's brighten it up a little bit more. Let's just say, uh, let's change it to 1.5 instead of one. So what you want to do is to save this as that specific preset. So kind of resave it or save over the preset you've made. Go to that preset right click and then what you want to do is click with update with current settings now this will basically save over that preset with the current changes you've got over on your photo so as you can see we've increased it by 1.5 instead of one we'll go ahead and click update as you can see now if i go ahead right click remove all that information then i go back to test and as you can see 1.5 is now there and also if you want to import presets it's also really easy. All you need to do, click on that new icon. Instead of go create, go to import and inside import, all you need to do is go to where they're saved and then click import. And it is honestly that easy. Presets are incredibly helpful for Lightroom Classic and I highly recommend using them. And yeah, have a look around, make your own presets, download someone else's. It's really good fun.